What's up guys, Steve with Steve Invest. I got a, an inquiry today on one of my properties for sale that's looking to get pretty creative and um, do a direct exchange. And she sent over some details, so I'm gonna get her on the phone and see what she's thinking. How you doing? Steve Daria, Maxim Realtors, how are you? I'm great, how are you? Good, good, I got your uh, email, just wanted to um, go over some things with you if you got time. Sure, go ahead. Cool, um, so what do you what do you think in a real estate exchange? So is any of it currently cash flowing? Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, just as it sits, it does. I have one small office in the front, um, and then, um, you know, I share it with, I share just, the rest of it with everybody else and then the middle office and the back office are rented i don't have a lot rented okay no. how long have you owned it um i've owned it going on four and a half years i have a balloon note at the end of this year and i'm working on refinancing right now gotcha so interest rates are so good but i mean if i refinance it then i'm just gonna end up holding it what um what are you asking on that so the, the price that I have on it um, is 875 on the property, and, um, and based on comps, I mean, that should be its appraised value. Okay. What's your debt position? I owe four, uh, 430, something like that, 450. Okay. Um, I mean, if I took a loan on it for... A half million bucks, is it gonna cash flow and, and make money or am I gonna lose? Um no, I, I would imagine you're still gonna make money. Okay. Then would you be doing it for the advantage of a um of of um, doing like an exchange and investing and taking advantage of that opportunity zone? Yeah, possibly. I mean, I'm, I'm yeah. always getting creative with my real estate, so I'm familiar with the process. And I mean, honestly, I appreciate you reaching out and um, getting creative on things because there's a, there's a lot of real estate agents that just don't know how to get creative. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I've been doing this a long time. And the, uh, it, the way it works for me is just if, if, I sell, if I sell that property at a lower basis and buy one at a lower basis, I'm at least getting a little tax advantage savings, you know. Um, Sure. That way. But the person going into my building gets a big advantage because of this new tax setup. Gotcha. So what what's around it? Like is there um what well, the airport's across the street. It's um it's not you know what I have like right now I mean I haven't rented through next year, but I have so many I've had buyers that wanted to buy it as end users and at least at long term, but because I didn't know what I wanted to do I, I wouldn't accept a long term lease but I know there's an electric company, there's a couple other, uh, I think a plumbing company. Yeah, you know, I've got, there's been several calls of people that really would like to have it long, you know, long term. And that's what I think I'd recommend is to just, you know, rent it to one of the locals that's got a big business there, you know, for a long, a long lease. It looks and, like, it, it looks like it's zone um, multi-use. Am I able to, do you think it, there's a possibility to convert it to all residential? Um, you know, maybe. Um, it's always been used as an apartment, but technically it's supposed to be commercial. Right now I have at least to a uh, payroll company. But anyway, the the apartment with that right and then building another structure to meet the criteria for the um, the tax opportunity zone as a commercial, um, what I was gonna do is I was gonna build it as a commercial building. It's like we're trying to decide what to do with that now and so I just thought, well, you know, if I could find something that makes sense, I would I would trade the building and somebody else could take advantage of, you know, doing some sort of, you know, development there or, or you know, the opportunity zone or whatever. Gotcha. Okay. Well I'll I'll look um more of the details that you sent me over and um and then obviously you have all the information on the, the house on Fort Myers Beach that's that's all rented out, ready to go. Yeah, I have seen the house not since you renovated it, but I've seen it over time, um, you know, uh, with the changes, but I mean it's I I guess you know, for me I just thought about that house because it's it's next door to them. 
Yeah, and they're awesome people. <laughs> yeah. All right, cool. Well, I'll um, uh, I'll mull this over. I'll, I'll look into more of the details you sent over, and then uh, touch base back with you. Okay, sounds good. All right, good talking to you. All right, take care. Thanks, bye. bye. Hmm. Asking eight seventy five for this property. I don't know. My property's all renovated. Easy tenant in there. They're paying thirty four hundred dollars a month. I don't have to do anything. And then this property is going to be a headache. I mean, there's potential with risk. There's definitely a reward. But I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna have to mull this one over. Anyway, I like her creativity. Uh, if you didn't catch the details on it, basically she's looking to do a direct exchange where I buy her property, she buys mine, simultaneous close. Um, it's really as simple as that. But uh, I just don't know if it's gonna work for me. So my question for you is, have you ever done or participated in a direct exchange? If you have, leave the details below.